Hi, my name's Steve Bowersock, and this is my first attempt at doing a video. Um, I've issued a challenge to our artist at the Bowersock Gallery to come up with a three-minute video, and I might say, must say, holy crap, it's really hard to pull together three minutes. The attention span of people is insane. Anyway, so let me speed up because I only got three minutes. Um, I want to bring you into tips, what I've learned through my experience, and some things. So let's just dive right into it, and I'll play with everything as we go. A lot of the stuff I learned through taking classes, through individual artists that I respect and like, and then brought their tools into my storyline. So without diving in more, which we could do that in the other, in the other things, is how I get started. So late last night, I ended up sketching this piece that you see behind me. So what I do before I even get it on the canvas, I create this sketch, and then I transfer it onto the canvas itself. Then, and which I did already, um, is I take linseed oil, and I wipe, put, uh, paint the whole canvas with linseed oil, wipe it down, which I use these rags, and you basically you just take the linseed oil and you wipe it all the way through across, and then you wipe it down, and then let it set for 10 to 15 minutes. And what that does, it allows the, the linseed oil to, oil to cure just a little bit. And then when you go into the next phase, which I'll explain in the next video, you start, this sets you up for the underpainting. So what I'm gonna show you is how you start the underpainting after you do the linseed oil and you let it set, you basically come back. And in this, this mixture, I have raw umber, and I have burnt umber. So I'm mixing them together and literally I am for the next probably 15 minutes gonna paint this entire canvas with this. So when I come back, this entire thing is gonna be full of nothing but a big brown blob. I'll see you right back.